been sitting here reading in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1, getting all the way down to verse 80. It's talking about John the Baptist. It says, And so the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the desert to the day of his manifestation to Israel. You know, I never really paid attention to that before. But he says that, that John grew in the desert. That he was in a place of isolation. A lot of the Old Testament prophets isolated themselves. They got in a place that they were separate from, from all the distractions, all the noise. They got away from all the, the political stuff that was going on in their time period. They, they got away from the cities. They, they found a place that they could get along with God. I'm not just talking about a prayer closet. I'm talking about a place that they isolated themselves from everything. It says that, that John stayed in the desert until it was time for him to be shown to Israel. Until it was time for him to proclaim his message. And you know, as I read that, and I, I see the importance of that time alone with God and I realized something. In today's culture, in today's world, we spend so much time bombarded by the media's messages, watching the television, watching news, listening to the radio, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, it's there everywhere. Even, even when we spend time watching Christian content, it's still not like getting along with God. It's still not like getting to the place that we can hear him speak. It's still not like getting into the word and studying and finding for yourself. It's not like letting the spirit dwell in you. Look, it says that he grew and he became strong in the spirit. It means that he, that he was able to listen, that he was able to hear God when he spoke, that he became strong. He knew what God was going to tell him. He understood the messages that God was giving to him. Unfortunately, we only hear what other people say. And even worse than that, when they say what we don't want to hear, we changed the channel. And I'm afraid that too many of us have already changed the channel on God. Because we've got our own criteria. We've got our own presets of, of, of what God is and what he can do and what he can't do and what kind of box he's in and what he expects from us and everybody around us. And we've got this idea, whether it's biblical or not. And anytime something challenges that, Anytime something moves beyond that, anytime something makes us uncomfortable with that, we dismiss it. Let me encourage you. Get in this word. Study. Read. And when it challenges the way that you think, it's right and you're wrong. Quit trying to change what God has said. Quit trying to, to, to candy coat it, to sugar coat it, to say, well, God said that, but, but I think he's okay with this anyway. What was a sin yesterday is still a sin today. And it'll still be one tomorrow. Find your place that you can isolate yourself and grow in him. And grow in the spirit that you can hear him when he speaks to you so that you're prepared to go where he calls you to go. I love you guys. God bless you. <laughs>